Hey, how's it going everyone? Tazen here and today I want to talk about my thoughts and what are your thoughts on cancelled video games. Straight up, okay, just simple sentence. I hate it. And there's a strong word. I just, oh man, it breaks me to see games cancelled. And I guess this, a lot of this comes from the discussion around uh, the announcement that Scalebound was recently cancelled. Uh, it was coming on the Xbox One, an awesome action RPG. Reminding a bit of Devil May Cry, cross between Bayonetta, just cross between platinum goodness, you know. I had a bit of a western feel to it with the character, but then also very much Japanese feel, the dragoness feeling that gave me sort of a dragon guard vibe and stuff like that. And a bit of the Last Guardian feel, obviously you have a companion and stuff, but not exactly the Last Guardian. And man, I want to start off with Scaleband because I never really had much of an interest in getting an Xbox One and I... I hadn't until recently uh, owned an Xbox, at least uh, currently own. And um, Scalebound was that one game that made me want to get an Xbox One. I was always waiting. I was like, when it comes out, I'll get it. Hopefully, they bundle it with a console. Or you get a Scalebound sort of uh, themed console, just like I've seen with the Gears of War 4, the Battlefield 1 uh, Xbox One consoles. And I was like, it'd be awesome. And then when it got announced, I was devastated, really, because it was like... I'd just been waiting so long, and this is a game we saw quite a bit of footage. I guess you could argue whether it was the diverse footage, because it was mostly just battling and you know with your dragon and stuff. Story-wise, we didn't really see much at all. Uh, we heard more about the story, you know, from interviews and stuff than we actually saw in gameplay. But still, it just looked like such a good game. You know, I, I don't know the reasons. There are so many things floating around that it wasn't working that well on the the Xbox or the engine. Or, you know, relationship with uh, Platinum and Xbox, I, I don't know. So so don't take any, any word of these things that I'm saying, you know, maybe there will be more information coming out. But like, Scalebound isn't the only game that, that we've recently experienced a cancellation that people got excited for. Take the PT demo, uh, announcing sort of like a Silent Hills game, which a lot of people are huge fans of. And then that just all sort of just disappeared, you know, and sort of like, Konami uh, pretending it didn't exist or something, you know, and I guess that's another thing. Um, I really hope that uh, games like these do get to see some sort of in, a vision in another game in the future, whether it be that game sort of come out in, in, a, in a bit of a new format, like we're seeing with Versus 13 come to 15. I guess that wasn't essentially a game that got cancelled. It was a, a story that a story was in creative development for a long time, but became this Final Fantasy 15. The actual Final Fantasy 15 was only in development for so three to four years or so at the most, um, at least from what we've heard. So it's good to see stuff like that come through and uh, I guess uh, Silent Hills and stuff like that, well at least with their Strand we get to see Norman Reedus in another video game. I mean, who doesn't love Norman Reedus in a video game? That'd be awesome. Uh, Death Stranding may not be any, any way similar to uh, what uh, Kojima Sun had envisioned for Silent Hills. It could be a completely different game. We still know very little about uh, Death Stranding, but it's still cool to see people like uh, Del Toro and everything be on board with Death Stranding. We may see sort of elements or something uh, put into that game from those people. Again, Scalebound, I, bl I don't know whether it's, it's, it is owned by Microsoft or whether Platinum are able to, if Platinum do have some sort of rights to it, whether, you know, Nintendo or PlayStation, Sony will pick it up and can do it. Uh, again, I'm not too sure about this. That would be awesome, though. That would really get me excited. Um, but otherwise, you know, we guess we just have to keep voicing our interest in these games. Like I was saying with Final Fantasy Versus 13, everyone kept voicing their interest. The Last Guardian, especially, I believe uh, Shuei Yoshida said this game was made possible because of us fans wanting it, because we were voicing our thoughts that sort of went under the radar for a long time and maybe it was going to get cancelled but we kept pushing and we got it and Last Guardian is one of my favourite games of all time it's actually my favourite game of 2016 uh, I'll get to that in another video though but yeah it was just you know I would love to see uh, us just keep pushing keep supporting these games uh, that we want to support you know uh, putting out our wallets where they where we want them to be you know not just throwing them on on games that you know uh we sort of we sort of want and they're incomplete and stuff like that but yeah anyways let me know your thoughts on uh cancel video games do you sometimes think it's a good thing you know maybe it's saving a bad game from coming out 
do, do you most uh, as, as we may think it's a uh, horrible but uh, yeah anyways thank you so much for watching thanks for like sharing and subscribing and until next video stay spot on actually that's too strong I strongly dislike it <laughs>